Vandersloot told us on the record they sold Natalie Holloway for $10,000. Now Vandersloot says he was lying to us and made up the story. Lie or no lie, it is a fact that human trafficking is an international crisis. Bigger numbers of people sold for labor, for sex, and just plain cruel. Moments ago, we spoke to Ambassador Mark Lagon, Secretary of State Rice's global advisor for fighting human trafficking. Ambassador, thank you very much for uh, agreeing to sit down and talk to us. Great being with you. Ambassador, I'm not going to ask you anything about Natalie Holloway case. It's an ongoing investigation that we're working on, and while we've been seeking to prove or disprove um, what happened to her, um, one of the things that's come to our attention is the enormity of the problem of human trafficking. And it, this is your job. It is. I'm, I had the office of the State Department to, to fight this problem of sex trafficking and forced labor working with other countries. I was reading some of your materials, and it's astounding. Across borders, over 800,000 people a year or more. Yeah. If you look at uh, trafficking within borders, it's millions. And across borders, we think it's at least 800,000 um, people a year, uh, many of them. Um, for sexual exploitation, we think a, a good 80% uh, of them females um, who are the victims. Is this a problem, let's say in the last five years, it's growing or it's decreasing, or can't you figure that out? Um, I think it's growing, um, but we certainly are more aware of this problem. Nations around the world are beginning to put in place laws um, and only uh, starting to effectively prosecute the bad guys and uh, implement those laws. Ambassador, you said it's worldwide? Yeah. Um, now, obviously, our attention has been focused more in, this, in, in the South America, uh, Caribbean area. Um, we, you, we've got a map here. You've given me this map. Um, tell me, um, in the sort of Aruba, Venezuela, Caribbean area, what's been the, what has our State Department determined? Well, um, in, in the Caribbean, you see a, a, a lot of transit of uh, human trafficking victims, a lot of them for sexual exploitation. Um, in the region of Latin America and the Caribbean, there's been increased focus on children in prostitution, but not enough of people who are uh, adults. And there's a problem uh, in the region, including where there's legal prostitution, for there being a magnet for sex trafficking. Venezuela um, had for three years in a row the lowest ranking in our annual global report on its record in fighting human trafficking until last year and it moved up to the second lowest category of tier two watch list. Is there any record or history of actual trafficking through Aruba? There is. Um, there, uh, Aruba being small is not ranked in the tier system of our report, but there are cases. A admittedly, um, m much of the pattern seems to be um, going to Aruba, um, but it is quite conceivable that trafficking uh, from Aruba is possible. In Aruba, do you find that the police, have the police been sort of willing to look at the problem? Are they honest, thorough, good, or, is there, or does our State Department have any problem with the law enforcement in Aruba? I am not in a position to, to give you a, a, a really good assessment of that, but it is a region in which, um, in Latin America, um, corruption um, and uh, lack of efficacy of uh, law enforcement is serious. We've been dealing with the Natalie Holloway case, which you're not part of this investigation, but one of the things that we have is that we have some information that we'd like them to look at. Um, but there is an unwillingness to even look at what we have. Maybe what we have is true, maybe it's a wild goose chase, but we, ha you know, well, we can't get to look at it to see as a possibility. Do you find that unusual? Um, everyone should be open to the uh, opportunity to look at evidence uh, because uh, the possibility of trafficking in this region is serious. What do these women say? Um, I, mean, I don't know if you've ever spoken to or, or talked to people who have, but who have been the victim of trafficking. You know, everyone says, well, why don't you just walk away? If you're out on the street being a prostitute or whatever, why don't you just walk away? And I mean, I, I mean I've talked to them, and I know what, what it, not to the people who've been trafficked, but uh, the extreme coercion. But what do you hear? The definition of human trafficking by law and under UN treaties is it involves force, fraud, and coercion. In general prostitution, there is a lot of um, violence and manipulation by pimps. And in the situation of human trafficking, um, terribly acute. Um, oftentimes, people are um, kept in a brothel. They can't leave. They're living and being exploited in the same place. Um, they, uh, their traffickers get them into debt. Um, they uh, make them afraid that if they run, 
they're only going to be treated like a criminal. I take it then that you are not dismissive of the possibility that this could have happened in Natalie Holloway. You can't say that it did, but you're not dismissive. I'm not. The, uh, um, the flow of human trafficking um, through this region um, is uh, significant. Um, the rule of law is lacking. Um, where there is even um, laws, like in Aruba, they're not well implemented. Um, it's uh, quite possible um, that this is happening um, on a significant scale. So you really can't reject out of hand that, that idea. Ambassador, thank you. Pleasure. Thanks for coming out of the